I have blazing speed. I can transform into anything you need. With AJ in my driver's seat, I'm never alone. And Axel City is the place that I call home. Engines at the ready, my speed will amaze. Don't blink or you'll miss it. Come on, let's blaze! On your mark, get ready to race. One, two, three, let's blaze! So I'm going to see, now we're gonna scream and now we're we'll blaze. Go saving the day. Blaze, blaze, blaze. Give me, give me, give me some speed. Blaze at the monster machines, yeah. was a special day in Axel City. Everyone was getting ready for Darrington's birthday. There was just one problem. His cake was still at the bakery. They couldn't have a birthday party without cake. I have an idea. Darrington, why don't you and Gabby finish getting the party ready while AJ and I pick up your cake? Blaze and AJ zoomed over to the bakery and spotted Clyde, the baker truck. He was wheeling out a four-tiered cake with blue and yellow frosting. That's the biggest cake I've ever seen. And it smells delicious! The only thing the cake needed was a finishing touch. Candles. Blaze and AJ followed Clive into the bakery to get them, leaving Darrington's cake outside. Just then, Crusher and Pickle drove by the bakery and spotted the unattended treat. Crusher thought the giant cake looked yummy, but it was on the other side of a giant pothole. I've got to have it, and I'm going to build a flying robo-plate to get it! Crusher's hatch began to glow as pieces flew out and formed the robo-plate. Okay, robo-plate, bring me that cake! With the push of a button on his remote, Crusher's robo-plate flew to the cake and lifted it into the air. Then the robo-plate began to spin out of control. Pickle drove in circles underneath the cake, trying to catch it. I got it! I got it! Oh, I don't got it. Pickle just missed the robo-plate, and it flew away with the cake. When Blaze and AJ came out of the bakery, they spotted the cake zipping down the street and Crusher chasing after it. Hubcaps! Crusher is trying to get Darrington's birthday cake! Follow that cake! Crusher and Pickle heard Blaze directly behind them. Crusher, we need that cake! I can't let Blaze stop me! These bumper bots will stop him! He's in for a bumpy ride! Three little robots on wheels, Crusher's bumper bots, were on a mission. They began to bump and bash Blaze and AJ. We've got to bump those bots harder than they bump us! We can bump them away with kinetic energy. What's that? Kinetic energy is the energy something has when it's moving. The bumper bots have a lot of kinetic energy because of how fast they're going. But if I can drive fast enough, I'll have more kinetic energy than they have. And then I can bump those bots backwards. Right! Blaze used his speed to build up enough kinetic energy to knock the bumper bots out of the way. They were back in the race, trying to reach Darrington's cake before Crusher did. When you need to stall, build a wall! <laughs> As Blaze and AJ continued the chase, Crusher tried to stop them by building a huge brick wall. We need a powerful machine to knock down this wall. Like a crawler crane with a wrecking ball! Yeah! When a crawler crane swings a heavy steel wrecking ball, it creates so much kinetic energy that the ball can smash through stuff! Blaze quickly transformed into a crawler crane with a wrecking ball! Woohoo! I'm a crawler crane monster machine! Blaze used the kinetic energy of the wrecking ball to hit the wall. Before long, he had smashed it to pieces. So long, Brick Wall! Then Crusher had another idea. He quickly built a super slippery ice machine. Crusher's machine sprayed ice all over the road. Oh no! This ice is super slippery! We can't move forward! 
to keep moving, we need kinetic energy. What if we find someone with kinetic energy who can bump into us? Blaze spotted a big horn sheep truck on top of a hill, which gave him an idea. Hey, big horn, come and bump us. The big horn sheep truck gladly raced down the hill and bumped into Blaze. <laughs> The kinetic energy from the bighorn sheep truck sent them sailing through the sky, and they snagged the cake from Crusher. We got it! We saved the birthday cake! I wanted to eat that cake! Crusher, this cake is for Darrington's birthday! Before Crusher could argue, Pickle interrupted. He told Crusher that he had mail. Crusher opened the envelope and gasped. Pickle? This is an invitation to Darrington's birthday party. That means we're going to eat cake after all. There's just one problem. Darrington's party is about to start. We'll never get the cake there on time. Oh, yes, we will. Because we're going to use blazing speed. Blaze activated his spoiler and boosters. Let's blaze. Pickle and Crusher zoomed back to the Axle City garage. Thanks to blazing speed, they made it just in time to wish Darrington a happy birthday. Happy birthday! Darrington was so excited about his amazing cake, and the friends all dug in. Yum! Best party ever! There's more? Oh, I've had so much cake. I'm going to need someone to use kinetic energy to get me to the next adventure. Plays <laughs> in the monster machines. Plays in the monster machines. Let's play. It was the day of the Monster Machine World Championship race, and Blaze and his friends were excited to compete. Stripes, the tiger truck, growled. Starla, the cowgirl truck, twirled her lasso. Zeg, the dinosaur truck, roared happily. And Darrington, the stunt truck, practiced amazing jumps. This is gonna be great! But before the race could start, a cheating monster machine named Crusher appeared with a giant mechanical bubble stick. The sneaky machine blew big trouble bubbles that formed around each of the racers and carried them away. Blaze and AJ floated in their bubble all the way to a desert before landing. As they raced back to the track, they saw stripes dangling from a cliff. His bubble had popped in a dangerous place, and now he was tangled in some vines that were starting to break. Blaze spotted a pair of rocks shaped like ramps. If we drive really fast, we can use one of the rocks to jump to Stripes. AJ switched on his visor view to figure out which ramp would reach Stripes. Take the ramp on the left, Blaze. With a nod, Blaze zoomed up to rescue his friend. He reached the tiger truck just as the last vine snapped. Stripes was saved. <laughs> Blaze and Stripes continued to make their way back to the racetrack. They entered a forest and saw Darrington being chased by a pack of grizzly trucks. Oh no! We better run! The friends took off, followed closely by the growling trucks. Soon the monster machines reached a river where they found a curved piece of wood. The curved piece of wood has tall sides to keep the water out. Blaze launched it into the water. The monster machines jumped on and floated to safety. After floating downriver and away from the grizzly bear trucks, the friends got back onto dry land. As they drove by a mountain pass on their way back to the racetrack, they spotted a snow-covered zeg tumbling down the mountain. Quick-thinking Blaze caught the dinosaur truck with his tow hook. Then the machines found Starla at the bottom of a hole inside a cave. Working together, they used a pulley to haul her out. Now let's hurry and get back to the race. The monster machines arrived at the track just in time for the start of the championship. Crusher growled. This race is mine, Blaze. No one is going to beat me. Blaze smiled. We'll just see about that. The announcer shouted, on your marks, 
Get set, go! And the friends were off. While Blaze and his friends had fun soaring across ramps and twisting through loops with one another, Crusher could only think of winning. A little cheating ought to slow those guys down. <laughs> he swerved left and right, knocking oil barrels, hay bales, and stacked tires onto the track. Look out! AJ tried to warn the other trucks, but before long, Darrington 